Hey guys, hope that you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more EU4. This is Vinny, Vinny Vici. We are wrapping things up. It's uh, unfortunately going to be kind of an, a more long-winded end to this series. We're, we're going to need to uh, handle a couple of things, sadly, <laughs> for one reason or another. This is going to be a little bit more than I was expecting it to be. But uh, we're going to do what we can here. So I'm going to have these guys come down here. We're going to build 20 heavies. Have you guys protect trade. And we have some guys coming up here to go land on uh, Shetland. Um, we need to have you guys split. Get some guys up into Pest, I assume. Yeah, that's fine. And then have you guys just hang out over here in Croatia. That's fine as well. It is my hope that whenever I take Shetland, I will be able to um, lay the smack down on a Castile for a peace deal, but we'll see. The issue is definitely more of a this. His colonies are extensive, and um, it's really going to be a pain to uh, manage this. So we'll see. We'll see what we can do here. Norway and Liege. Hey, Iceland. Iceland is free. The Grand Republic of Iceland that is an Anglican, okay. <laughs> and it's only half of Iceland, which is moderately funny. All right, so we have 18 day siege ticks, not bad. Hopefully we take it, please. There we go. Very good, very, very good. So I might be able to actually use this war to full annex Castile. Maybe, 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 maybe. Let's have... No, no. What am I doing? Let's have you guys come in here. And let's get on over here. Now, I need to be aware that they do have a navy that could whoop me. So, I'll probably have to take all my lights, actually. So, let's have you guys come down here. Let's have you guys come around here. And then... Have you guys group up over here. So, we'll send half you guys over here and we'll send the other half down to Brazil. Um, yeah, it's, it's... Honestly, it's gonna be a tough one. This is the ideal situation, but we'll see what happens. Uh, nice, we just sunk a bunch of his ships with our galleys. Our galley fleet is still protecting... Or, um, you know... Hunting for enemy fleets over in the Mediterranean, or galley fleet, so quite good. Um, free stab, yes, please. I love me some stab. Stabby stab stab. We can convert for him. I know it doesn't affect him, but might as well. Let's have you guys land off over here. Scabra. If it's only like a half a ducat a month, why wouldn't I, right? Ming broke their alliance with us, well that's kind of annoying. So... Yowzers, you guys really need to reinforce. Alright. Let's get you guys grouped up over here. I'd really like for them to win this siege so I don't have to blockade anymore. Did we get a disease outbreak? Really? Come on now. 7% chance happens every time. Every time. Uh, national tax modifier or... Not. I don't want to lose legitimacy. How's our governing capacity looking? Oh, hey. Apparently we got a follow here. Let me, uh... Turn off those alerts. But thanks for the follow there, small monster. <laughs> We've won the siege of Rio Grande. Alright. Let's have you guys come over here and pick up these dudes. Let's actually have you come over and pick up these guys. We're gonna send that whole stack down there. Uh, so they have no forts up here. Not a single fort. They have one up here. Okay. We're just going to keep an eye out over here for um, armies from these guys. Get these guys grouped up. Alright. So Castile. Yeah. This isn't going to happen. Oh, this is so unfortunate too. 
We'll see what we can do. I will take as much as I possibly can, though. Army-wise, like, we're, we're good. Honestly, New Castile has the most men. Yeah, hmm. We'll see what we can do here. Let's give those guys a minute to repair. Let's have them detach the broken ones. Really, they're all they're all damaged. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's actually have you guys bring them over here, so that way we have a big battle stack, and we'll have them repair over here in uh, Rio Bravo. Choo choo. Maximum manpower is at eight hundred and thirty-two thousand. It's not bad. A pirate's life for me. Very good. Let's wait for those guys to lock in. Well, I guess they're heading over to a different province anyways. Maybe we can stack wipe them. Yes, we can. Very good. Have those guys repair the ships over here. Truce with Norway is over. Very important. Gorgeous. Let's do something like this. I'm just kind of clicking randomly at this point. There we go. Something like this. Something that's going to give me as much, um, you know, war score in the shortest amount of time. There's a random six deck over here. That's kind of funny, actually. So this is actually getting us a bit of war score. El Paso. Something like this. Have you guys head down here. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Maybe we will be able to get a little closer to this. We'll see. The more that the more that we take in this war, the less that we have to worry about um Castile in the future. Which is definitely the goal. Because I cannot stand dealing with the major colonizers. Absolutely horrible. Mayo. Hey, I know what that is. Castile's like maxing out his... Um... Oh, well, come on now. Hmm. Yeah, it's hills, of course. Alright. Well, let's see what we're capable of taking here. Okay, this is fine. That's fine. That's a decent bit. Now we need to focus on how we can beat up on Austria. Okay, I can't co-belligerent him. I have a truce with him till 29. And I have a truce with him until also 29. So I suppose what we do... Oh, nice. So we could totally just do this. And then give this land to three uh, leagues and then I can take... the. All I need is Vienna and the Hog. Let's have these guys head over here. Um, let's have you guys group up, because we're definitely going to need those ships. Alright. English separatists have risen up in York. Hopefully we have guys over here to suppress. We don't. Of course we don't. Classic. Let's have you guys head over there. Let's have you guys dropped off over here. Have you guys come over here, pick these guys up. And as soon as we get back over to Europe, we're going to uh, declare the war. Let's get you guys up there. They might even actually attack these guys before we even get there. Yeah. Whatever. I, I couldn't care less. Idiots. Okay. Suppress those rebels there. Have you guys go back to protecting trade in English Channel with these guys. Maybe I should get a better admiral as well. Where are these rebels popping? English Separatists, Italian, Three Leagues Peasants. Okay. I don't care about the peasants, man. There's always peasants. So let's have you guys protect trade. And in the meantime, I need to make sure that we get another flagship because they keep sinking my... Dang flagships. 
Let's go with these guys and then that guy. There we go. And let's also go with something like this. Something like this. These are all super useful. I love these guys. Anything that makes the enemy take more naval attrition is a glorious thing. And if you put them in between t uh, tiles like that, they'll take a lot more attrition, which is wonderful. So, very good. Do something like this. Don't want to pay for all this, so this is good. Help me out with my uh, governing capacity. All right, let's have you guys hang out over here in Madrid. Suppress rebels that are inevitably gonna happen. Okay, we have a lot of men over here. Let's have you guys suppress here. Have you guys suppress here. There we go. Have these guys hang out down here. Suppress rebels. Here we go. Convert for our good little vassal. Okay, so we're getting a little closer to our next idea group. We're still not there quite yet, but so let's attack Strasbourg. Get on to Vienna, get on to Steiermark, get on to Antorf. <laughs> there we go. Now I actually have some heavies in our fleet, so we can... Oh, hey, look. We're just ignoring that fight. I love that. We cheated. Artillery damage from back row. Something I'm a big fan of. There we go. Get you guys out of there. Winning a couple of sieges is going to be a big one. Yeah, we're already at 20%, so... We'll see what we can take. Obviously, I'd like to like dismantle Austria. I want to take everything that I need from Austria in this war. That's definitely my goal. Let's handle that over here. Let's have you guys split. Siege down all of this. Austria proper area. And, um... That's fine. That cost is a nice thing to have. Arugula. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know if that's what that province was called, but I didn't read very closely. Very good. Hessa's broken free. Welcome to the map, Hessa. Siege down his capital. Maybe we'll win this siege, maybe we won't. Nope, we won't. Yikes, did I attack them there? I think I did, but somehow I'm... Destroying them, so that's fine. This is all fine and dandy. There we go. Taking that one now. So we're actually going to keep these guys together. Once I, um... Rose to throne and proclaim Russian Empire. Yep, I broke it. So, for those of you who are just catching up, I accidentally had a uh, non-Iron Man mod on... That's from a multiplayer campaign that I'm doing with a couple of my buddies. Check that out. Um, it's called the Th the Four Roams, but and um, I had it loaded in when I loaded it into this safe, and it broke the Iron Man. I cry every time, every time. They want to get over onto Vienna, Colonia. Kind of annoying, but I'll just head over and take it back. Not a problem. Whatever. I broke that siege, and now I'm annoyed about it. So let's actually have you guys come down here. Have you guys come over here. So we'll get in there and then we'll reinforce in a couple of days. Try to uh, thoroughly destroy them all. Something like this. Have you guys come up here. Very good. Go ahead on to Vienna. Do your thing. Do your thing, get on to Vienna. So they're not gonna, okay. So I can actually make them take a river crossing. 
Uh, three maneuver to three maneuver. I believe, I might be mistaken, but I think this will make them take a river crossing. Nope, it doesn't. So I don't know. I don't know game mechanics. I'd rather the clergy or the nobility be really loyal. Okay, so where's everybody else going then? Uh, must be heading to Baden? I don't know where you're going. Yeah, I don't know where he's going. It's fine. So, let's head over here, beat up on these guys. Catch these guys here. Somehow I can't get up there because Utrecht is in the war. Makes sense. These guys have been getting beat up on, apparently. I'll take this back. On the Siege of Cologne, very good. These colors are so similar, it's hard to even see what's going on. So Austria is getting beat up on by who? The island of Tortuga. The Tor Pirates of Tortuga, man. Legendary. Have you guys not force march? Have you guys come down here? So what I want is at least this, probably all the way up to Steiermark. And then I want, obviously, Zeeland. Let's have you guys split up a bit. Something like this. Because I don't actually want any land from um, what's his nuts in this in this war. So once this truce is up, we need to attack Lorraine before he gets any friends or joins a coalition. Very important. There we go. All right, let's take this one here as well. Very good. Uh, I don't care if our theologian leaves. That's fine with me. Let's go with production efficiency and then max them out. Admittedly, I probably could have been maxing out a uh, guy for a mill. As far as idea groups go, I don't really know. Offensive, probably. So let's actually find a guy who's the right fit, the right uh, culture. And let's switch over to mill focus. So as far as this piece deal, we want something like this. This is what I want. I think this is doable as well. Reinforce them. Wipe them out. Destroy the children. Here we go. Let's have you guys do something like that, something like this. Okay, just kidding. Let's have you guys all just go over there. G, there you go. And then who else is in this war? Is there somebody that I'm not aware of? This is the same country? I did not, I thought this was me over here. That's funny. So let's make sure we are, there we go. Filippo, very good. All right. Austria wants out. I could separate piece him. I guess I don't really care about the uh, coalition at this point. Oh, come on now. Yeah, he's not co-belligerented, so I'm going to have to take it in the uh, the initial peace deal, or like the, the, the real deal peace deal. There we go. I could take Holland if I wanted to. Interesting. Really? Well, I'll gladly take Holland. Or Amsterdam, I mean. Amsterdam is in the Holland state, right? So they're still raiding me, but they're just raiding me like over here, and I don't really care that much about it. Not a big deal. Nah, no, I can't. Okay, well, this is fine. That gives me all the provinces I need from them. 
Very good. Core it all up. And then uh, make sure we're not gaining any corruption. We are almost maxed out on our economic hegemon, which is wonderful. Dispute of succession in Portugal. Don't think that matters much. Let's have you guys come on over to the hog. Let's have you guys come on over to Paris. Let's have you guys come on over to Vienna. And now we're just waiting a couple more years. Sweden broke their alliance with us. Interesting. So I wonder if I could ally proclaim Russian Empire. <laughs> Let's see what we can do here. Oh, he doesn't like me because I'm a hegemon. Ah, interesting. Is that why Ming doesn't like me? Ming's actually getting beat up. Okay, interesting. Our trader is dead. Let's get another one. We are so rich. I don't even know what to do with it. So let's form as many good high level forts that we possibly can. So let's suppress rebels here. Maybe we need a little more down in here. There we go. Let's have you guys suppress rebels over here. Let's have you guys suppress rebels in Holland and Flanders. There you go. And then uh, have you guys continue to convert land over here in my vassal's land. Look at that. Those, those Protestant borders are looking prettier now, by the day, right? Okay. Truce with Ming is over. Uh, wow. Not a single guy of my culture. Let's actually upgrade a couple of cultures that make a little more sense. And we are still over our governing capacity. Town Hall. Okay. Let's build a, some of these guys. This will help as well. Not as much, but it will help. And then, uh, yep, let's just build some state houses. Castilian separatists have risen in Madrid and they're gone, so we're good. Could state up Brittany, and I will. State up all of this stuff. I know our uh, admin is not necessarily on point, but uh, we don't need another idea group. It's kind of a moot point. Sweden is at war with Brandenburg and Austria. Swedish Lubeckian nationalist war. Interesting. Okay. Don't care. I will suppress them for you because I'm a good benevolent overlord. Trade efficiency level one guy. Nope. Don't think so. Level one trade efficiency guy. Don't think so. Admittedly, I don't really need the money. It's just more... Okay, let's actually go with an improved relations guy then. I'll help out with our uh, making of friends. Let's go with something like this. Okay, Miltech is going to be a good one. That'll give us some good morale bonuses. So his negative opinion is a major one. I will guarantee you. And I will send you a big old gift. Yeah, that's good. How are you gonna how are you gonna deny me this one now? There you go. Yeah, you wanna ally me, you clown. Same thing over here. Send him a gift. Make sure that uh, Sweden likes me. Jaegerhorn is a sick name, I'll tell you that. I don't think he's a great power, so we can influence him. Now he'll ally me. Very good. And same thing with Ming. There we go. He likes me again. Wonderful. Uh, don't care. That's fine. All right, cool. I think that's a great place to end it for the episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, show your support. Leave a like and subscribe. Don't forget to ding the bell when you subscribe, and it'll send you a notification every time we upload. If you also want to... Um... Wow, he still is willing to join as the Defender of the Faith. If you want to check out what's going on over on the Discord or support us on our Patreon page, the links are in the description below. With all that being said, this is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later. A big special thanks to my top supporters on Patreon, Jack Thompson, Palmer, Bloodbound92, Drunk Binary, Katie Branch, Valentel, Jaren Clampett, Corbett Gaming, RJ Pilot, and many more. You guys are wonderful and I appreciate you. Don't forget to check out the playlists linked on the left and the right, and don't forget to subscribe.